Uh, the uh, program is named after Morris Kaplan, and I know all of you remember Morris, and uh, I've, in my opinion, I think yours too, he epitomized the, the spirit of goodwill and community service and humanitarianism. So we're going to start off at the Henderson County uh, Sheriff's Office, and uh, Sheriff Davis has kindly deferred to Captain 10 Griffith to come up with uh, Deputy 3 Jonathan Michael Tankersley, so if you two would please come forward. This is Deputy Tankersley here. He's also known as Tank. Wonder how he got that nickname. <laughs> He's been employed at the Sheriff's Office since 2001. He's married to Rachel. Rachel, raise your hand there. And uh, uh, Tank conducts all community watch meetings. He teaches, teaches DARE classes uh, to the kids in schools. He conducts demonstrations and prepares exhibits for the children and sometimes even uh, repairs bicycles for underprivileged kids. In addition to his regular training, uh, Jonathan is a SWAT and sniper trained and serves as a sniper for the SWAT team in the uh, Sheriff's Office. Uh, we're all as a department very proud of Jonathan. Um, if we had, a, if everybody took the, the time and effort that he took uh, individually with uh, anywhere from kids to, to the, the people that we have to uh, apprehend sometimes, I think we, had, uh, we would be uh, probably the strongest agency in the world. Well, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, truly is a great honor to be here. Um, it was a real shock for me earlier this week when Tim called me uh, to inform me that uh, I was a recipient to this. Next we'll go to the Hendersonville Police Department and I'm going to ask, ask uh, Chief Herbert Blake and Lieutenant Andre Massey to please come up. Lieutenant uh, Massey has served in law enforcement for 28 years and just about all of it at the Hendersonville Police Department. I don't know what else to say. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a privilege to, and, and Andre is just one of many outstanding employees we've got at the police department. And it's, it's never easy, so that's why I kind of passed the buck on this one. And, and we asked the employees to, to, to submit nominations, and Andre got the most nominations. It was pretty simple, uh, cut and dry. But uh, Andre's committed, he cares about people, and you can trust him to do what he, he says he's going to do. And uh, it's an honor and a privilege to have him. Uh, too many like him, and uh, I may be looking for something else to do because uh, he's low maintenance, no maintenance. Thank you, Chief. Uh, I told Chief when uh, he was telling me about this award, I said, well, there's somebody else probably more deserving than me, but I appreciate it. And uh, I just have a basic philosophy, treat people the way you want to be treated in the same situation. So. Good deal. Okay, next we're going to go to the North Carolina State Highway Patrol, and I'm going to ask First Sergeant Tim Peterson and Master Trooper Christopher M. Jeffries to please come up. Uh, Master Trooper Jeffries uh, has been a member of the Highway Patrol for 14 years. And he originally hails from Nash County. I'm Sergeant Staggs, but I'm his shift supervisor. First Sergeant. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Peterson is, is right over there. And First he Sergeant, is it. First Sergeant, First Sergeant stand up Peterson so they can there. all see you who you are. There you go. <laughs> I, uh, I, first thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you for the support that you give the Highway Patrol <laughs> here in Henderson County. And, you know, our office is in Hendersonville. We cover Henderson, Polk, and Transylvania counties. And we appreciate your support, for not only the Highway Patrol, but for law enforcement in general. Uh, thanks for the great meal and for having us, my coworkers, today. Uh, it was certainly an honor to get this award. Um, I moved up here from Nash County. I grew up in the East, so when I came down here in 2003, it was a different culture. But I've really, I've really uh, enjoyed living in the county. A lot of great people here. And now I consider this to be home for me. Okay, next is the Fletcher Police Department. And this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to ask uh, uh, Fletcher Police Chief Tim Crystal to please, please come up. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me today. Um, it has been 
if you listen to the stories that you've already heard, you hear these are these are these are exceptional police officers. And because of my time here, I didn't feel like that I was really ready to to make a recommendation on somebody who is an exceptional officer. To we have a lot of good police officers. Um, so I just wanted to be here today uh, and thank you for inviting us. Thank you for doing this program. Uh, uh, the recipients should be very proud uh, that their peers, uh, their supervisors, uh, think that highly of them. So uh, just thank you for allowing us to participate, and next year uh, we will certainly have a recipient uh, to participate with the program also. I want to look like these guys do. Okay, last but not least, Laurel Park Police Department, and I'm going to ask Chief Don Fisher and Police Officer Philip C. Whitaker to please come up. Philip has a total of 15 years in law enforcement, the last two with the Laurel Park Police Department. Uh, he and his wife, Rhonda, Rhonda, right over here. Have two sons, Mason and Jordan. He's a member of the National Rifle Association and the National Wild Turkey Federation. He's a member of Mills River Baptist Church, where he serves as a deacon, youth director, and is active in mission work in West Virginia. Uh, I've watched a lot of people come and go in law enforcement, and I've, I've seen a lot of people that were very special, and maybe none as special to me as Philip Whitaker is. Um, if you ask him to do something, he does it and goes one step beyond. If there's something out here in the community that has a need, Philip is the first one to give and give and give. Uh, if, you, if you have a, a, a child or, a, or anybody that's in need, first call you need to meet to Philip because he's going to step right up to the plate on whatever it is.